In just a few days, we will welcome our nearly 76,000 students back to the best school district in Texas. And before we begin, I'm coming to you today to keep you updated on two topics that you will be hearing more about as we begin the 18-19 school year, our continued bond planning and state accountability. During Monday's board meeting, the administration formally presented its recommendation for a $992 million bond referendum to fund safety and security upgrades, new construction, campus renovations to address maintenance and adequacy, and technology and transportation needs. This coming Monday, we will ask the Board of Trustees to call the bond referendum in November. At the same time, we will ask that they adopt two resolutions that outline the roles of the Bond Oversight Committee and ensure accountability for all bond funds. You can expect to hear much more if and when the Board calls for an election, but in the meantime, you can learn more about the ongoing planning efforts on the FBISD website. During Monday's meeting, our Board of Trustees will also receive an update on the recommendations of the Community Safety Advisory Committee, which has been meeting to discuss additional safety measures that can be incorporated into our Safety and Security Master Plan. Keep in mind that not all of these will require bond funds, but they will require continued planning and discussion to ensure successful implementation. During the next few days, we will provide you more information about the things we are doing to keep our students safe as they return for the 18-19 school year. Next week, as we begin the school year, the TEA will be sharing ratings as part of the newly revised State Accountability System, which was to include grades for all districts in the state. However, due to the disruption caused by Hurricane Harvey and its devastating impact on students and staff, FBISD will likely not receive a grade this year. We know that Harvey's impact during the last year was unprecedented. We missed a significant amount of instruction and our students, families, and staff members suffered tremendous loss. Yet together, they persevered and continued with their daily routines, despite great hardships. As you may recall, as a district, we strongly oppose a state accountability system that gives a letter grade largely based on a standardized test and a student's performance on a single day. We, along with more than 60 other districts, are instead working to develop a community-based accountability system that is more comprehensive in nature and that takes our boards and our community's expectations and goals into account when measuring our success. I want to be very clear though, we believe in measuring our success and we are committed to continuous improvement. With that in mind, we use STAR results as one piece of data that can be reviewed for trends and patterns so that we can identify ways to disrupt these patterns and improve student achievement. This is important as we are truly committed to providing a system that allows each child to reach their full potential. Every one of our campuses, regardless of their statewide accountability results, develops a campus improvement plan each year that outlines how teachers and staff will work together to help their students achieve success. And together, we will continue this important work. We know you, as our community, trust us to inspire and equip our students, and we take this responsibility seriously. Thank you for your partnership. We're looking forward to a great year in Fort Bend ISD.